Well, what do you know? Look at what the cat dragged in. The Legends Gamer Pro is here, but is it good? Okay, guys, we're back. Special thanks to At Games. They did send this to me as a review unit. However, they're not going to review this review prior to it being posted. All the opinions and comments made will be of my own personal experience with this device. Definitely want to give you guys an honest and fair review. Looking forward to getting this thing cracked open. We're going to fly through the unboxing so you can get to the good stuff. But as you can see here, this thing is packaged well. Plenty of foam materials and wrapping all around the device protected it on its way here from China no damage whatsoever to the unit everything looks great thanks so much for a good packing job at games okay taking everything out of the box first thing I wanted to do was check this control deck and uh, taking a look at the joystick as well as the buttons with all the micro switches and everything definitely the same buttons that are included on your version 1 at games legends ultimate as well as the same trackball feels like the exact same components and this hockey puck thing, this is your Legends core. This is the brains of the operation. This is the streaming box. The motherboard and everything is put in there. You also have a power supply for the Legends core. You have a nice little instruction booklet, help you get started, help you get everything installed, help you get uh, everything connected to the Wi-Fi, the internet, how to do firmware updates, all that kind of stuff. They did give you an HDMI cable uh, to connect the core to the TV, but it's only a one foot long cable. At games, you should have gone with a three foot cable. One foot is too small. They did give you a three foot or so USB cable to connect the core to the gamer for charging. That's right, dudes. There's a USB port on the back of the gamer. You plug that cable into the core, into the USB port in the core, and that will charge your gamer device. And don't forget, the gamer does include pinball buttons. You got your flipper and nudge buttons on each side of the device. And when this thing is charged up, it does hold a charge for several days, which is really, really cool. It does have a, a pretty dependable battery in here from what I've experienced. Taking a look at the size, this thing is almost 30 inches long, four inches tall, and right around 10 inches wide in diameter. It's definitely a beast. It's definitely plenty big enough for two players to play comfortably, and I'll show you some footage of that coming up. As we zoom in here on the control deck, you will see, unlike the At Games Legends Ultimate 1.0 cabinet, you do have eight buttons. We do get those left and right trigger buttons finally. You'll notice that they did for the player one, player two start buttons, they included the artwork on the buttons themselves. The Legends Gamer can be used as a swappable control deck for the Legends 1.1 arcade machine the new version that just came out within the last couple of weeks. So far, I'm happy with the build quality, the appearance of the Gamer Pro, the actual fight stick, the control deck itself. Everything feels and looks pretty good. If you're a fan of the Legends Ultimate, you're gonna like the way this looks, you're gonna like the way this feels. Definitely seems to be the same trackball that we saw in the first one. Will it stand the test of time? We'll find out. Let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up to the streaming box, get it hooked up to the TV, and let's get this stuff fired up and see how it goes. Okay guys, to get started, I have an Ethernet cable and an HDMI cable plugged into the Legends Gamer. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the power supply. And as you can see, once you plug in, the light turns green and it fires up. There's no on-off switch. Just like a, a bunch of modern streaming boxes today, these things don't include an on-off switch. Once you plug it in, it turns on. Once you unplug it, it turns off. And cuckoo ka -choo, and you're back and ready to play some games. Once you get it plugged in, as long as you got that HDMI cable plugged in, it's going to pop up, it's going to fire up, and it's going to load up on your screen, and you're going to have the Ekims ecosystem ready to go. The same user interface used on the Legends Gamer is used on the Legends Ultimate, etc. Once you see the main screen fire up on your TV, you can go ahead and move over to your gamer to make sure that your Bluetooth is synced up and connected from the gamer to the core. This is done easily by just hitting the power button on your control deck. The control deck will fire up and you'll notice you'll have two blue lights. 
If the blue lights are solid, top one for player one, bottom one for player two, that means both sides of the control deck are already Bluetooth connected to your device. I've already Bluetooth connected my device, so as you can imagine, it does save that connection. Now, I have turned my machine and my control deck on and off, oh, I don't know, 20, 30 times in the last week, and sometimes it saves, sometimes it doesn't. I would say about 75% of the time that Bluetooth connection saves, maybe about 20, 25% of the time I've had to reconnect it. If you're a first time user out of the box, if you're like, well, how do I do this? Well, the instructions on how to Bluetooth connect it do come included with that instruction booklet. But basically you hold down that power button until the blue lights start blinking. When the blue lights start blinking out of the box, start blinking rapidly, that means it's searching for a Bluetooth connection and you wanna head over to the gamer and all you have to do is there's a button on the side of the gamer here. It's right next to where you plug in that power supply. There's an itty bitty little button right there. If you can see it right there, that's your Bluetooth syncing button. All you have to do is press it. That's it guys, just press it. Just give it one push and check your screen. You'll notice that if you hit the button on the core just one time, the wireless connecting screen is gonna pop up and you'll see those top two items. Those are your player one side and player two side of the control deck on the gamer. If it's got that little red line through it, that means it's not connected yet, but mine are already connected. All you have to do is go ahead and hit that same menu button on the core when it has the red line through it, you gotta hold it for three seconds and it'll automatically connect. And you do that for both sides. Once you get both sides of your control deck synced up, you're ready to play. Okay, you powered on your core, you Bluetooth connected your Legends Gamer arcade stick to the core, you're ready to play some games. Obviously, if you take a look at the top left, I've already signed into my ArcadeNet account because I'm an existing At Games user, as well as I'm uh, hardwired, you can tell by the globe on the top right. I'm not connected via Wi-Fi. I always recommend if you're going to play on a connected machine, you hardwire your connection, but if you don't have the ability to do that, on the top right where it says settings, you can go into settings, connect your Wi-Fi. Once your Wi-Fi is connected, log into your ArcadeNet account. If you haven't made one already, you'll have to make one on the At Games website. And once you have your ArcadeNet account fired up, you're ready to play some games. Let's kind of take a tour here of some of the changes. Now the Legends Gamer does come with 150 included games. And also it has, it's the same ecosystem. You have the ArcadeNet, you have the 50 games on the ArcadeNet as well as uh, you do have the leaderboard games as well. So whether you're playing the games on the Gamer or the Legends Ultimate, you'll still end up on the same online leaderboards as everybody else. You'll notice as you look at the list of publishers, there's no Atari, there's no Coleco, but there is Taito. That's right, 47 Taito games have been added to this library, which is really, really cool. And there's uh, some pretty good ones in that bundle. But the lineup of games and publishers for 150, this is a pretty good set for a Gamer Pro stick that costs, you know, $200, $250, plus the ability to add and play so many more games, so many more different ways. As we move over to the ArcadeNet tab, you'll see those same 50 ArcadeNet games that are included on the Legends Ultimate are included here for you to play as well. All these games stream directly to your cabinet. And yeah, there's a bunch of good ones on here. A lot of good stuff from SNK as well. As we head over to the BYOG tab, you'll notice that you have the exact same BYOG features that you have on the At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade Machine. The ability to play pinball add-on games, which is streaming pinball games to your Legends Ultimate, pinball add-on X. You can even hook up the Pixelcade X marquee or the BitPixel marquee uh, coming soon from At Games Legends Ultimate. You have the ability to do your coin ops acts, your add-on acts, all the third-party developer applications are available here as well. As we head on over to the settings menu, you might notice some small changes on the settings menu. Here's where you go, of course, to connect your Wi-Fi. If you have not done so already, you just click on the Wi-Fi button, search for your Wi-Fi, enter your SSID password and all that, and you're in. You can sign out of ArcadeNet if you wish. You can even go into the parental controls if you want to set up parental controls for your kids. And under the wireless pairing tab, this is a tab where you can hop in here, see what's Bluetooth connected, and obviously you can uh, make changes, add, disconnect, all that kind of stuff. Underneath the wireless control deck mode feature, this is where you go if you want to actually turn the Bluetooth feature, turn the Bluetooth system off on your control deck. 
Reason you want to do that is probably because you might want to instead turn this off and then turn OTG mode on in case you wanted to hardwire this and use this as a controller on your PC or other devices. On page two of the settings, you can do your system health check, make sure that your ports and all that stuff are connected, that they're working correctly, check your privacy policies, set up your track mode, set up your screen saver, all that kind of stuff under page two of the settings. I really like the health check. It's really awesome to have access to this. That way you can do troubleshooting if you're ever encountering an error or anything like that. And just like your Legends Ultimate guys and a lot of the videos I've made before showing you how to do a lot of this stuff, a lot of those videos still apply. It's the same stuff. User interface preferences, at change your background, change your background audio, go into a track mode and set up your uh, Windows Zero track mode screensaver kick in. And you could also upload your own attract mode off your USB, your own attract mode video and all that kind of stuff. You could also uh, hop in here if you like having the clock displayed on the top right of your uh, window. By all means, go ahead and turn it on. If you're connected to the internet, it'll pull your time zone and everything. All you have to do is turn it on and boom, it's right there on the top right. We now have the clock turned on. You can go ahead and you can pick what page when you fire up the Legends Ultimate, what page of the menus you want the, the system to start on. You can hop into control mirroring. Yes, you can even do control mirroring, just like the Legends Ultimate. You can do it on the gamer, as well as over on the third screen, you have all your networking stuff here. The ability to do live streaming, the ability to connect like guns. Of course, you can live stream the Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube. You could double check your servers. If you want to use the trackball when navigating the menu screens, you can hop in here and change the sensitivity levels of the trackball. You can hop into Flash Drive X. This is where you're gonna load your Flash Drive X stuff. Make sure you check my video for this channel on how to do those third-party applications. You can hop into voice chat, set up a party room, invite two friends. As of right now, you can have three friends up to three people doing a voice chat simultaneously, three of your arcade net friends. You could also hop into the MGR tile changing tab here. You can change that artwork if you want to change the artwork of that MGR image of that particular tile. And of course, probably one of the coolest features on the Legends Gamer is the ability to enter portrait mode. That's right, guys. With the click of a button, you can flip your screen vertically. So if you have a TV or a monitor mounted vertically, you could use your Legends Gamer, run vertical games, vertical scrolling shooters, and all that kinds of stuff, as well as pinball. You can get pinball games running using your side pinball, nudge, flipper buttons, and running those games on a vertical screen, which is really, really cool. Now my son and I, we're big dudes, man. We're big dudes, both of us, 200 pound guys. And we're having a blast. We can rest this across both our laps comfortably, play, not bumping elbows, having a good time. Here's some scenes of us just uh, playing around with the Legends Gamer in our living room. <laughs> So what am I thinking overall, guys? Well, it took us 70 videos and a whole ton of firmware updates to get to this point from At Games. And of course, that same firmware, that same ecosystem is running on the gamer. I do like the fact that if you're already familiar with the At Games Legends Ultimate, migrating to the gamer or using the gamer, in case if you don't feel like standing in front of your arcade machine, is definitely a viable option for you. Um, what I do like is I like the build quality, obviously playing this thing on the couch a good 15 feet away from the TV, having a good experience, not seeing any kind of control lag or things like that. Everything is running and playing the way it should, and it's been a pretty good experience. And obviously there are so many features and functionality with this particular machine. I'm going to have separate videos. We're going to highlight the pinball play and all kinds of stuff coming up very, very soon. But overall, I'm quite impressed with this product. And uh, kudos to At Games. What a fun little arcade fight stick for my family. Thanks so much. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Help us grow. We'd greatly appreciate it. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And we'll talk to you guys again soon. Let me know what you think of your gamer.